Okay, Ben, do you want to start things off? Fantastic. Uh, Virgil, thanks very much for joining us. Um, we've just heard from Pep Guardiola, we've heard from Fernandinho, we've now heard from your manager, and there's been a lot of talk about the number of goals Manchester City need to take this tie either to extra time or to put themselves in a position to go through. So, from your point of view, how are you approaching the game as defensive units? Well, um, it's pretty clear that, you know, uh, defending a 3-0 lead here is, is, is going to be a bit of a strange situation. But I think we need to come in uh, with the mindset that it's still nil-nil. We want to win the game. Um, and, and we know we're capable of scoring goals. We know also as a, as a, as a team we can defend pretty well. Um, very compact. And you could see it also in the, in the second half we, we played them. Um, but I think the, the, the main thing is that we definitely need to you know, keep a mindset of winning the game instead of defending a, a lead. Have you been working on your defensive shape given the, the, the state of the tie? Do you change your strategy at all or do we expect to see the same attacking free flow Liverpool team? <laughs> well, yesterday was a recovery day because we played the, 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 the other day. Um, so today we're going to have a, you know, a talk, a meeting and, and prepare us very well for uh, for the game, and then on, even on the match day, we will, uh, you know, discuss and prepare us uh, even better. And given Manchester City were beaten Anfield, they had the chance to win the title at the weekend and failed to take it, losing to Manchester United. Do you get the sense that they are vulnerable? Well, I got the sense after the game we played them uh, at Anfield already. Um, obviously, they they had, they have so much quality. Um, they're gonna win the league. That's pretty clear. You know, that's 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 not for for no reason. But we know uh, what we're gonna face. We know their strengths. We know their weaknesses, and and uh, we need to be uh, 100 percent and and even more to uh, to finish the the game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we know that psychology plays a lot of in football and in sports in general. So if they score early, uh, City, how would you prepare for that situation? As a unit, as a defensive unit. Well, we need to stay calm. That's <laughs> the main thing. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna think that they're gonna concede early. We, that's not the mindset we want to go into the game. Uh, we know we need to be uh, we need to be 100 percent and and try and do the do the same thing we did in the first half against them. And uh, I think if we uh, if we do that and everyone is ready for it, then. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a difficult for a difficult night for them as well. Looking at it in a different way, you are one of the few teams that managed to keep a clean sheet against City. How much confidence does that give you going into the Etihad? Well, I think we're full of confidence anyway. Um, apart from the three 0 lead, I think we played we played well against them. We played especially the first half, um, where we where we had three amazing goals. Um, and, and, and the second half where we defended as a unit, you know, fantastic as well. Um, so we, we're pretty confident, but we know it's going to be a, a totally different game maybe tomorrow um, where they need to come, but we need to be ready and prepared for everything. And, and what I said, we want to win the game. Thanks. Virgil, because of the reception that the Manchester City players got at Liverpool last week, is there a chance that Manchester City fans in particular will be very aggressive and vociferous with the reception for the supporters tomorrow. Are you concerned about that? Does that bother you? Will you feed off it and actually make you play better? Well, that's something really I can't, you know, comment on uh, what happened before before the game. That's, that's something I have no control or anything. Um, but, you know, we just need to be ready for, for our football match. That's the only thing what we, uh, what we can, you know, have influence on. Um, so that's going to be the case. Okay. Could you, David, at the end here, please? Uh, Virgil, Pep Guardiola said in his press conference that he felt that Liverpool were probably one of the worst teams you could face being 3-0 down after the first leg. Would you agree with that assessment? 
yeah, being 3 0 down against anyone shouldn't be <laughs> shouldn't be good. But yeah, I think we as a team we feel like we're in a we in a great moment at 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 the, at the moment, um, and I think we can make it you know difficult for any team in the world. That's what I think. Um, but still, we need to show it. We need to be ready, ready for ready for a fight, ready for uh, you know a good game, and uh, and we will be. You mentioned yourself the tight turnaround from the Everton game. How are you as players feeling? Does that fitness go out of your head when you play in such big games? Sorry. Uh, D does it? Is it not less of a factor that you may be feeling tired from the Everton game because this is such a big game that you're already so up for it anyway? Well, in six, the three three games in in six days is it, hard for anyone. But um, I think we were, you know, ready before the Everton Everton game as well. Um, Unfortunately, we didn't win that one, uh, but I think for for tomorrow we uh, we want to win it again, um, and we we're gonna be prepared and, and ready for uh, for whatever's coming. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, gentlemen here, please. Hi, Virgil. Um, when you played in Holland, um, it was quite a steady league. Then you went to uh, Scotland, England, and after Southampton, it's again it's a much harder uh, time of the year. So many games. Can your body take all that? Obviously, it can. Looking at you playing so many games, but can you describe what's what's happening to you? Yeah, no, I can handle it definitely. Um, it's hard. It's tough, uh, and it's uh, it's only, I think, one and a half month left of 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 games, and and then a well-deserved break. But I think um, as a football player, you want to play games. You want to, you know, compete and and. Um, Especially at, at the time we we in right now and playing for the semi for the Champions League semi final and even the other day playing uh, the the Merseyside derby you know it's 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 just an amazing amazing time to be a Liverpool player. You waited. Can I ask yeah. you? you waited quite a long time. Um, didn't go into any other club and waited for Liverpool. Was this what you saw at that time, or was were you hoping to create something like this here? Yeah, well, you know, I came definitely to Liverpool to achieve everything that's possible, um, and to 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 that it happened in the winter. That was obviously fantastic news for me and my family. And you hope to try and and settle as quick as possible um, within the group. Um, also, apart from football, with with living and and the family as well. Um, and I think it went, you know, pretty pretty well. So uh, I'm just enjoying every every day, every bit of it, and then I'm 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 around with fantastic players, with with a fantastic coaching staff, and uh, amazing fans, and um, a great stadium to play in. So I'm enjoying every bit of it. Okay, Mandy in the middle there, PLP. Virgil, 11 games in the Champions League so far, 37 goals scored. Do you think Liverpool have come alive in this competition this season? I think that's pretty clear, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of goals, a lot of great results. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a, a great campaign so far and, and we hopefully we can uh, you know make the next step tomorrow night. Okay. Any final questions? Just one at the back there, I think. Virgil, hi, I'm here from the Chinese state broadcaster CCTV. I'm just wondering how aware are you of the global following for this match and whoever goes through will be representing the Premier League? Yeah, well, that's uh, pretty clear with all you guys here, obviously, that, you know, it's been, uh, yeah, massive, massive for everyone. Um, and, and we know definitely how special it can be for, for us Liverpool players and, and the fans that we hopefully go through to the, to the semis and... Uh, it's, but we're not we're not there yet, so we need to finish the job, and that's going to be a very hard, hard task. But um, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. It's a while since the Premier League team has won the Champions League. I think it'd be great for the league to have another winner. Well, that's a bit too far ahead, but um, let's just focus on tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll end yeah. there. Cheers.